Something that Apple does just effortlessly is having their products work in tandem with one another. Their phones and the Apple Watch, the uh, AirPods. I mean, when I leave my house, it's keys, wallet, uh, phone, and AirPods. But do you think that so soon people will be adding this headset to the mix? Will this work and be integrated with other Apple products? I think that's the idea. You know, like, like you said, Apple has always been very good at creating this seamless product ecosystem where, where devices just automatically sync up. Um, there's lots of interplay between these devices. So you can see AirPods playing a big role here in terms of audio. Um, or you can maybe see something where health data from your Apple Watch feeds into you know, a, a VR fitness app. Um, so you can kind of see what, what the possibilities are here. I'm interested to see the possibilities as they roll out in the future, but I'm thinking about the competition. Like you mentioned, Google a decade ago released their Google Glass, and that wasn't met with a positive response. Also, Meta had a very, what I would describe as a clunky release to their Meta headset. How has the competition reacted, and how does this Apple uh, headset stack up? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're really starting to see kind of the market take shape a little bit here. You know, Apple is clearly trying to own the premium end here with the, of the market with this price, um, while Meta is going for a, a little bit more of the lower end. Um, the big difference here um, in terms of the actual hardware and technology is um, Apple's really big bet in blending AR and VR. Um, so the, the device has this feature called EyeSight that lets people still see the eyes of the person wearing the, uh, the headset while they have it on. And, you know, it, it's supposed to make the device feel more human and kind of downplay that sort of isolation stigma that can come with VR. In your piece for Forbes, you point out Apple is usually not first to new product categories, but this really begs the question of what's more important, being first or being the better product? Yeah, it's, it's really hard to argue with Apple's track record here. You know, they, they didn't put out the first MP3 player or smartphone or tablet. And yet, you know, iPods, iPhones, and iPads have become these huge category defining products. You think of them when you think of these, these, these categories. Um, so history has shown that at least in, in Apple's case, this, this strategy of quality over speed has been successful. And what has the response been so far? The response has been uh, pretty, pretty favorable. Um, people seem to be very impressed and wowed by the technology. Um, the big question that remains is that while this tech is cool, there's, there's not a clear use case yet. Um, and I think third party developers will play a, a, cru a crucial role here um, in, in, in creating these, these experiences and use cases. Um, that's kind of been Apple's MO since launching the App Store in, in 2008. And um, it really kind of brought the iPhone to the next level, you know, elevating it from just a cool device to something really valuable for, for a lot of people and, and something that they couldn't, you know, leave home without. Do you think we will see a use case made for these headsets in the recent future, or do you think they still have a ways to go? It's that's really hard to, to tell. You know, I think again, it'll 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 be up to developers to really kind of make the case for what this thing can can do. Um, and companies have been at this for a long time. You know, uh, Facebook bought Oculus in 2014. And so we still haven't figured out what, what these things are for past gaming. Um, and Apple is, is really kind of trying to make the push that this is you know, a lifestyle product. Um, and, and so if it is a lifestyle product, we'll have to figure out what exactly it's, it's used for. In the past few days since the announcement, I've heard things like it will be used for airplanes, working out, everything in between. So as you know, we see more of this, these updates, I hope you come back and join us. Richard, thanks for coming on.